the main thing that makes the Apple Vision Pro different from VR headsets that came before is that even though it has a fully opaque covering in front of your eyes, it feels like you're looking right through it. Obviously part of this is Apple's choice of cameras and screens, but a major contributor is its absurdly low latency. That is the delay between light hitting the cameras on the outside of the headset and the image being displayed on the internal screen. Apple says that 12 milliseconds is about the highest amount of latency the human brain can tolerate before you start to notice a mismatch between a camera feed and what's actually going on in the physical world. And lo and behold, the listed latency of the Vision Pro is 12 milliseconds. Although this sounds a bit like marketing speak, early reviews of the headset have been positive, with reviewers noting that there was little to no perceptible latency. So how did they do this? Apple has apparently pulled this off with a chip they're calling the R1, along with a special operating system, Vision OS. Essentially, Vision OS is partially a real-time operating system that's quite a bit different from more familiar platforms like Windows or iOS. A real-time operating system, or RTOS, is used in situations where low latency is absolutely paramount. Think for example about avionics systems that use real-time data to help control airliners like the Boeing 787 or the software inside self-driving cars so they can react to hazards in a similar amount of time or faster to human drivers if they ever become a real thing. But how does an RTOS accomplish this? We'll tell you right after we thank Paperlike for sponsoring this video. If you're looking for a screen protector for your iPad, Paperlike has got you covered. It's got your iPad covered too. The Paperlike 2.1 is manufactured in Switzerland and is designed to help you write and draw on your iPad just like how you would on paper. It uses their exclusive micro bead technology called NanoDots to emulate the stroke resistance of paper without sacrificing screen clarity. Make sure to check out Paperlike at the link below. Fundamentally, a real-time operating system enforces rules that certain tasks are guaranteed to be completed in a fixed amount of time. Instead of a situation where most of the running processes have to wait their turn to go through the processor, an RTOS makes sure important tasks are completed first. An RTOS is also often deterministic, a fancy way of saying that the same inputs will result in the same outputs every time. In more concrete terms, this means that the RTOS has to ensure that every task going through the processor will meet its time constraint no matter what other tasks try to interrupt. Looking a bit more specifically at the Vision Pro, the headset can actually keep the visual pass-through of your actual surroundings working even if the rest of Vision OS crashes. It appears that the R1 chip is running an RTOS that handles data related to depth, eye tracking, and head tracking, while the rest of the Vision Pro's non-real-time software is handled elsewhere, namely by the more general purpose M2 chip that you can find in Apple's current line of MacBooks. This makes sense as real-time operating systems are usually quite small. Think of a few megabytes of code instead of the many gigabyte behemoths that run our PCs. It's a safe bet that the code running on the R1 is fairly lightweight and focused only on keeping the crucial low latency aspects of the headset working properly, allowing it to be more reliable even if something goes wrong with the rest of the headset software. Apple hasn't given us tons of details on the R1, but we do know that it has 250 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth, the same as AMD's RX 6600 XT GPU. Although this might seem like a huge amount of, for a hyper-specialized chip that's running a small RTOS, the chip does have to process data from 13 different cameras, seven different microphones, and six different sensors all at once. And all that data flowing to the chip adds up. So even though RTOSs tend to be smaller in terms of absolute size, they can still potentially handle huge amounts of data. And this is a godsend if you've just spent 3,500 bucks on a Vision Pro because you don't want to be losing your lunch just because of excessive latency. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and hit up one of our previous videos if you're into the nitty gritty like this. Maybe you'd like our video explaining what a kernel is. I'm not talking popcorn, though that is delicious.